Hello everyone. It's great to see you again. Today, I hope you will join me for an easy but elegant lunch. Here's a quick look at the menu. I'm serving a cheese souffle with fresh chives for the first course, my signature parsley salad for the second course, and berries in Prosecco for the sparkling finale. The first thing we need are the chives for the souffle. And I have some chives in the garden, so let's hop outside. These are common chives, not garlic chives. Besides the chives for the souffle, I'm also gathering parsley for the second course salad. If you want parsley to remain fresh, just put it in a glass of water and then put this in the refrigerator. Looks like we have a green theme going on. I only need about two tablespoons of these chives, so I'm just snipping them rather finely. Next, I'm going to preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 190 degrees Celsius. Now, butter a two-quart souffle dish. Just rub the butter along the sides and the bottom. A lot of people are frightened at the prospect of making a souffle, but honestly, a souffle is really easy to make. I'll try my hands. And then, Add about three tablespoons of finely grated Parmesan cheese. And then swirl the pan to coat the bottom and the sides. The cheese will give the souffle a glorious crust. Leave any loose cheese in the dish. In a saucepan over medium heat, add two tablespoons of butter and let it melt, but do not let it brown. When the butter has melted, whisk in three tablespoons of plain or all-purpose flour. Do this over medium-low heat. You do not want the mixture to color at all. And we're going to stir this with the whisk for about one minute just to cook the flour. Now whisk in one cup or 250 mils of warm or even hot milk. This is whole milk. Then increase the heat to medium high and bring this to a boil while whisking constantly until the mixture turns quite thick. All right, we are quite thick here. So now turn off the heat, stir in some black pepper, or you could use white pepper here, and a good pinch of salt. Then stir in one cup or 125 grams of shredded Gruyere or Swiss cheese. Also, add the chives. You're going to stir this just until the cheese has melted. The sauce will be quite sticky. This smells just wonderful. Now separate four large eggs. I'm going to put the whites in a large bowl and I'm putting the yolks in a medium sized bowl. I like to do it this way just in case one of the yolks breaks. I put the white in a little bowl first. Yolk, white. Then we need one extra egg white. There it is, and I'm going to save this yolk. I'm going to shift these yolks to an even larger bowl because eventually we will be adding beaten egg whites to it. Use a whisk to thoroughly beat the yolks. 
My cheese mixture has cooled just a bit, so now I'm going to add it bit by bit to the egg yolks, beating all the while because I do not want to scramble the yolks. Look at all of this cheese. Love these strings. Now we have to beat the egg whites to soft peaks. You can do this with handheld electric beaters or you can use a stand mixer. Prior to the 1930s, chefs always used a balloon whip and a copper bowl in which to beat egg whites. So if you're feeling energetic, you might like to beat the whites entirely by hand. I'm not feeling particularly energetic. Let's check the egg whites, see if we have soft peaks. Yes, we do. Add about a quarter of the whites to the cheese sauce and then just roughly stir it in to lighten the cheese sauce. Then fold in the remaining whites. When you fold in egg whites, you take your spatula and go plunk straight down and then you turn the spatula to bring what is on the bottom of the bowl up to the top. And you continually turn the bowl as you're doing this. This way you don't overly deflate the whites. It's always better to undermix rather than overmix. I've put my souffle dish on a small baking sheet just to make it easy to transport to the oven. So now add this gorgeous cheese and egg white mixture to the souffle dish. This kind of souffle dish is very easy to find in kitchen supply stores. And of course, it's available on Amazon. I will link it in the description below. And this recipe will be on my website. I will link that below as well. Now take a butter knife and outline a circle about one inch from the edge of the dish. I'm sticking my knife in about one inch deep. This will help to create a nice crown in the center. I'm going to pop this into the preheated oven until the souffle puffs and it's brown on top. It's going to take about 25 minutes. And in he goes. I'm going to remove this top rack because this souffle may rise so much that it hits the rack. While the souffle is baking, I'm going to move on to the parsley salad. Parsley leaves, capers, red onion, let the red onion rain down on the parsley leaves. Fresh lemon juice. For dessert, I have mangoes, strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. I'm going to spoon them into dessert goblets. Finishing touch, Prosecco or any sparkling wine, or champagne. Happy New Year. And here's our souffle, tall and proud and begging to be eaten. Here's how you open the souffle. Take two spoons back to back. Just pull the souffle apart. This is 
gorgeous. And look at this crust. This is from the sides of the dish where we put the butter and the Parmesan cheese. Made a beautiful crust. I'm serving the souffle along with sliced baguette. You guys, this is like eating a cheese and chive scented cloud. The souffle is light as a feather and just, oh, so delicious. I don't know why people don't make souffles more often. They are so easy to do. And this crust is super crispy. Just, well, again, one of the best things in the world. Finding the right dessert to follow a souffle is a little tricky to do because you don't want to serve anything that is creamy or bready. So no cake, no pie. I think the fruit salad with the Prosecco is the perfect sweet finale. Oh, this is heaven. The only thing I wish I had was a mint leaf to put in each of these desserts, but I didn't have any mint. Thank you so much for joining me for lunch today. I really appreciate your company. If you like this video, be sure to tap the thumbs up button and also tap the little bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Again, Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in next week's video. Chin chin.